Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your Rogan Reporter, LC the One, baby. LC the One to be a Zank, that is, AKA Illmatic 124, and not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. <clears throat> but my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school, and my warm up jerseys on the back of my motherfucking chair at the crib. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, man? My LC gang, gang, my LC crew. What's going on out there in the land? You living, you did, but hey, man. I'm back with the mini reaction video, but it's ain't no reaction video. This actually is uh, my theory, okay? This is my theory, man, for real, for y'all see the title of the vid, man. I'm thinking that this is about to be a new rivalry, okay, between LeBron James and Kawhi Leonard, all right? And the reason why I say that is because look how, it all, look how everything is all set up, man. LeBron went to the West Coast. Kyrie went to the East Coast. The last person to win a title from the East Coast was LeBron James. The Miami Heat with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Nobody else won nothing besides him. So then it's a new thing, too, a new shift. Kawhi didn't want to be out West. He wanted to play his own style of basketball, okay? LeBron went out there, you know, because the competition is better out there. He want to be the first player to disintegrate both coasts in one era. Now, but the only person that's in his way is Kawhi Leonard. Now, Kawhi Leonard, uh, he was the only person really to beat besides, I'm talking about like MVP, like someone that's in his breath, LeBron James. All right, and I think LeBron played against San Antonio. I think it was like three times all together in his career. The first time was when he was almost like a rookie. Second time was shortly afterwards. That's when they got Kawhi Leonard. And the third time they won, you know, it was one. He won one. Kawhi won one. So I'm thinking this is about to be a new rivalry, man. That's about to brew up, man. And we watching the making of it <clears throat> right now. So, the best player from the West Coast got kicked out when he left. Well, I mean, it really was Kevin Durant, but he, well, Kawhi Leonard supersedes him because he's with San Antonio, all right? And he didn't have no dynamic, dynamic team. I mean, like the Golden State Warriors. I mean, he had Ginobili and Tim Duncan and Parker, but they was all past their prime. But the the Golden State Warriors, they the new up and coming thing right now. So, but Kevin Durant jumped on that team, or else I would have crowned him the king of the West Coast. No, the king of the West Coast was Kawhi Leonard. Now he's on the East Coast. Now if he win the title this year, he gonna be the king of the East Coast. Now that's interesting, okay? So that's what I'm saying. The king from the East Coast left. He dominated the East Coast. LeBron James dominated the East Coast, man. Ain't no, ain't no other player did it better than him. Besides Kobe Bryant, but he was on the West Coast. He was the king of the West Coast at that time. And I wanted to see those two meet up and play, but it never happened. So now that's what I'm saying. This is a new era, but the theme is like almost back where it was when Kobe was playing and LeBron was the best player on the planet. I wanted to see them two play, man. And I wanted to see who was going to win. And I think it was going to be Kobe Bryant. I know it was. But because he's more, you know, his skill set is different. And he came from a better era. I'm just saying, you know, the Jordan era was the best. Now, if Kawhi win, then that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Because now you collapse the dynasty. So what? I mean, well, you could say you collapse the dynasty between the Golden State Warriors uh, boy, they franchise, you know, it's going to collapse a little bit. They saying Kevin Durant going to stay with the team if they lose. I mean, why would he stay? I mean, you got a good structure there. Yeah, I understand that. But if he if he takes some money, then, you know, that's going to be the end of the Golden State Warriors. And then the new king is about to rise, which is LeBron James in the West Coast. He's the new king of the West Coast. And then the crown king, East Coast, the best player from the East and West, that's the that's that's what we want to see, man. You know, it's been missing for a long time. We talking about individuals. We ain't talking about teams. 
Now that's why I'm saying this beauty collapse of the, the dynasty. And it's going back to the theme. The best player from the West and the best player from the East. Kobe Bryant versus Scottie Pippen. Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. Okay, that's what it is in a nutshell. About to get my thoughts on that, man, because you know, I was thinking about that, man, like, hmm. This could be the the end of an era, the dynasty eras with, with super teams and the and the birth of the best player from each coast. What y'all think, man? But it's your boy LC the one baby. LC the one baby that is aka Illmatic one two four from the break room. You dig what I'm talking about, man. Like I always say, man, keep it pimping and the voice slipping because they will get your mother sucking ass if you slip on them about sucking banana pill. You dig what I'm talking man? And like I always say, man, just remember, God, we going to five, a four, a three, a two, a one church. And I had already had this video prepared, but the women was, the ladies was in here, man. They was, they was chatting. And y'all weren't going to be able to hear the conversation. So I had to do it this way. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all let me church. Amen.